No, never lost. Problem. Never lost. Problem. Problem. Never lost. Problem. 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 Well, you know, we'll see, man. <laughs> and then the vex list will just come in. Because i got man waiting. If we lose, I've got man waiting to just come in and charge the police. <laughs> <laughs> Time to ride, baby. Birmingham, here we come, bro. Yeah, I'm excited, man, you know? Being a manager and everything like that, the responsibility that comes with that. Um, you know, going to Birmingham, you know, to play against the, the Midnight Ramadan League team, you know what I mean? So, I'm kind of excited about that. I'm excited about seeing the team again. I've um, got a couple of new players. You know, it should, it should be cool, man. They're probably looking forward to playing against us. I know we're looking forward to playing against them. It's our first game. I know it's a kind of a, a scenario that's very strange to us to play at this time of the day, but it's, it's what happens, man. The thing about these guys is that obviously with what they're doing and their religion and them playing at this time is something that they have to do. It's, uh, and, you know, we, we what we want to do is shine a light on what they do and why they have to do it at this time. And for us to go up there and play, of course, it's very different to anything that we're, we're used to, but this is what those guys are doing. Um, in the Midnight Ramadan League, they're playing football at this time because that's what their culture dictates to them for them to do. So what we want to do is show we're ready to come up there and play, shine a light on that, learn more about that, and you know what I mean, and, and do what we do want. What, what the, the common denominator in all of this is, is the football. On top end. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, when you look at London Moon and Street Panel, Ben, you know, them man, them man have got pure skills, man, Timsey. I'm not worried about that side of it. And you know the thing about it is, all I want to do, and this is what I said to them when we, I remember when we met up, and we, when we first met up and we was talking about stuff, I said, listen man, this is about entertainment, you know? Let's do some stuff, let's show people what you've got. When I watch what these guys do on a regular basis, on Instagram, what they're posting, that's all I'm about, man. Just show me your stuff. I'm a vibes man, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about pure vibes. Honestly, this is brilliant, man. So, tell me how it, how it started. What's a typical day? So, I tried to kind of get into semi pro football. Unfortunately, semi pro football always, the, the pre season usually fell in like the months of Ramadan. Okay. And when I was trying to go to these pre season games, or, or sorry, uh, training sessions, all the boys yeah. were doing the beep, beep tests course, and all of yeah, that. Yeah. I was just gassed out, course, fasting. fasting yeah. So I didn't really think much of it. And then over the years, I, I formed my own football team, Sophie Stadiums. And the reason I formed it was because I could never play for a team. So I thought, if I can't play for a team, let me create my own team. Right. And then I created a team and one team turned into like 13 teams under the umbrella of one club. Yeah. There's a time period where we're not praying, we're not fasting, and it's like around about half 11 to mm. about 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> There's always rules around lights after 11 p.m. Course, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But Villa, they supported us, they had an indoor facilities. Um, and they said, come and use ours. When EA got in touch with us, they yes. said, look, we want to do, we want to showcase your project, which kind of raised the awareness of South Asian footballers. We were like, yeah, let's do it. We were in a very lucky position where Birmingham City Council have supported us and provided us a piece of land mm -hmm. uh, where we call our home now. It's a, it's a six point So you can do it anytime. Exactly. R typically a day in Ramadan. Mm -hmm. The day starts at sunrise. Yeah. So the last time we can actually eat or drink is just before the sun rises. So that's around, at the moment, it's about 4.20 a.m. in the morning. From 4.20 all the way until sunset, which is about quarter past eight in Birmingham, mm -hmm. um, we're, not, we're going without food, water, uh, liquids, where we're observing uh, you know, our religious rituals mm -hmm. that we have, prayers, all of that kind of stuff. And then from 8 p.m., we, we have about half an hour to 45 minutes to eat, drink, what we want to do. And then we have another set of prayers that we go to, which is called the night prayers. That lasts about one and a half hours. After that, we're like birds out of a cage. We've got between, say, 11.30 p.m. all the way until 4.20 a.m. to do as we please, eat, go out, chill, meet mates, right. whatever what it is. And it's an amazing thing you're doing. And I, I hope my team can beat, because your team looks, you're already, the team's already saying things like, <laughs> my team's going to get beat and stuff like that, so. You can't come to our ends and not. I, I was feeling that like you was going to say something like that, man. I can't come into your ends. We've got to have a bit of 
Forgot oh the my other price. gosh, how can I come into the ends like that, man? <laughs> I didn't even realise that, Obs, man. Let's <laughs> <laughs> win the game, let's let them know what we're, what we're about. Man. Yeah. Because I've got to trust their ability as well. But it's the thing, man, I'm pushing, you know I mean, do your stuff. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it come is. On. Get the skills you know out. I mean? Get the skills out. But the fact is, you know, they, they, they want to win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to so win too, man. Yeah. Come on, you're right. Go on, man. Go on. They want to win, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? They don't want to, they want to, they want to make sure that people see their, their, their league in, in a good light. You know what I mean? They're doing great things. And we're coming up here with a bunch of, you know what I mean? We've got some individuals and they're very skillful people doing their stuff. The fact is, it's a football match, man. We want to win. So I said, make sure we do it properly. Do it properly, enjoy the game, but express yourself. Let's try and win the game. Pop up gas right now. I'm, I'm not going to even like gas because obviously when we knew about this, we were researching the London Volta team. We were looking at the YouTube videos and whatnot. But Ian Wright, the legend. You know what I mean? Like just competing against Ian Wright is an, it's an achievement in itself. So if you can beat the man, you can you can live that for the rest of your life. I beat Ian Wright's team. That's mad. I think that it, even if even if it goes two two, sometimes it can go even into a a three one. But as long as somebody comes into that middle side, you can have something to pop off. So yeah. as we can keep keeping the ball rich, you know what yeah. I mean? So when you get the chance to do your skills, do your skills, but at the same time, don't, don't charge in. Move, move, come inside, come inside, Link. Don't go chasing when we ain't got it. So, so we're out of position, stay in, stay in. Yeah, yeah, look, that's it. Time, time. Yeah. Come, come. Go on, let me go. I know, I know. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. I was just telling you, you, know, you, know, you about like, the opportunities and that. And it's probably the same barrier as you faced when you was younger, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not as yeah, yeah, yeah. hard as what you lot face. It's, there's no way. I'm playing, play, I'm playing football with people not as good as that is, is made for. When I got to Palace, when I was like 22, yeah. When I got there straight from the Sunday morning, the players weren't well, as good as the football. Uh, I don't know what you the tell us what it is. I don't know what the blockage is. I think we need people like you to kind of shine the light on it, if that makes sense. Let's go, Arsenal. Chat to Arteta. Take a stick.